Hello there, the Fabled Harpooner here. Yeah, ready to hunt another pair of uh, not leg on B, Volvidon, in the Rock Slide quest with the Hammer Weapon class. And not the Iron Striker, but a variant of the branch that the Iron Striker comes from. It's a weapon you can upgrade from the War Mace if you have it, or it's a weapon that you can forge directly, which is what I'm going to do. Again, with the Lagombi armor set. It's pretty much the same skill stuff used with other Blade Master weapons. And the weapon of choice. No, not upgrade, you can't upgrade the weapon. Don't have that War Mace to upgrade into the Plesioth head. Literally the head of a Plesioth. Stats wise, it's a decent increase in raw damage. I think one of the highest, even maybe the second, at worst, or third. A decent amount of green sharpness. And uh, 210 water damage, which is quite nice. Let's see, it requires Plethioth scales, Plethioth fangs, stout bones, which we get from both the Lagombi and the Volvidon, as well as, as I believe from the Arzuros. And one Plethioth head. Luckily I have 11 of those, so it's no problem for me. And the next upgrade, it splits up. Oh, some more ran. Hammer. Anyway, you got the bless you off weapon. What do you need? Guess I could eat for Slagger if it's... Well, even if it's not available, I'll eat for Slagger. There's no fresh items. But whatever, Slagger's a decent skill to have for hammer usage. Let's see how good the hammer is actually at pulling off no cap damage on a Volvid on. Yeah, good thing we have Slagger. Rock slide. And the items, let's see. Got deodorant, dash juice, psycho serum. Pretty much the whatever I need. Hopefully, the swings with the hammer will actually connect with the small hitbox that the head has. Oh, we started here. It's quite convenient because we started right next to one of the Volvidum. None of those connected to the head. So even for hammer, it's difficult to get a knockout. And it's not like I'm just hitting the body, I'm actually went for the head. I have energy drinks as well, well, I won't be needing energy drinks with the, the dash juice. Yeah, it was okay that it didn't hit the head, it was a bit odd. A bit off point. And yes, the pound doesn't really reach that far up. Maybe the upswing does, if we get the right connection. So the way I see it... Oh, nearly got us there. Is that not getting a knockout against this monster is difficult just because of the small hitbox on that head. That counts as knockout damage, essentially. I'm not sure if that is meant because it's supposed to have a hardened head. Wait a minute, since when do you go to your right first? You usually go left. To the right on my screen, but that's the first time it's started that way. Just since I changed my evasion options, it's changed its attack pattern. Now I don't like spamming super bands too much, because, but because of its mobility... Oh, there's a break. None of that was the head. But because of its mobility, it's a decent way of dishing out damage as it stops moving. I should have attacked from the side. Thank you, Chacha, for knocking me out of that.
shame we didn't get quite enough hits there. So I really doubt I'm going to get any knockout damage, but at least we're going to get a lot of exhaust and water damage because of a lot of water weapon. None of that is a hit. Absolutely, absolutely none of it. Would have been nice to get a golf swing there that actually is flying it away, causes it to flinch. Okay, the shiny is still there. Might as well pick it up while it's bouncing about. An extra Omni Pledger sack. Oh, it's exhausted, that's nice. Will it stop rolling there? Oh, my first knockout damage. I'm not too concerned about the jaggy nesting area because we're getting all this. They're both here. Oh, this one was leaving. Okay, Chacha, if you can scare one off. And apparently, you just missed. Ah, that pound missed. Or oh, didn't come out in time. Oh, it's moving away already. Good enough. Time to eat? Yeah. Now I'm not sure if I can hit the head as it tries to eat. Really, Jaggy. I'm gonna die fine. That was a, a blind dodge. Just trying to get rid of the little jaggies before they continued pestering me. Okay, let's take another dash juice. Limping after the five minute mark, pretty much the usual stuff. But again, that hitbox on the head is so tiny. I mean, I'm not sure which one is which. I'll go, yeah, that one has the back broken, so. That was lucky, right on time. I'm trying to get make room for the other one to come by. Okay, at least that connected. Really, its body disappeared just as I swam. Okay, he's gonna slam the bag. Oh no, just roll over me. And a pound kill. Decent enough. This time. 42 minutes, 34 seconds roughly. Or oh, 20 seconds. Decent enough, I would say. 
bit disappointed that it's that hard to get a knockout. And yes, I'm going to complain about it when it's supposed to be that the hammer should be the best ideal weapon at getting knockouts. And if that weapon has a hard time at hitting the head, well, there's something wrong with the hitboxes for the head. Especially when you're hitting it directly. First swing goes to the uh, to the face. Doesn't count as knockout damage. Of course, then you have the bless you. You hit the neck, and that counts as knockout damage. Okay. At least it didn't do the jump slam. That would have hit me no matter what. Very nice flinch. And since I can't get really knockouts, so I'm not going to bother to actually aim for the head. Unless it's right next to it. And I might as well sharp. Especially if I have speed sharp now. Yeah, you're going on well over me. It's not like you're going to do a lot of damage. Didn't get enough distance after that roll. At least it doesn't spam it that much. It would be a really annoying attack. Well, you know that I say that, he's done it twice in a roll. Or close to each other, more than a row. Damage here and there from the 10 minute mark, it's limping. Can we get it before the 15? That would be, would be ideal time. Oh, you <laughs> turn to the side just the slightly, slightly enough to avoid a swing. Hey, okay, lure it out. Come on, just come out here. A couple more jumps. Shame I missed it with a swing. No interrupt. Sorry, Cha Cha. Oh, I was trying to get the hit before it disappeared. I vanished into the cave. Actually, pretty much taking a few pounds without flinching. I hate that they move just at the last minute. All that stamina drained, charging up, and they just decide to move at the worst possible moment. Wow, 
Well, we got it before the 15 minute mark. Quest time, 37 minutes, 11 seconds remaining. Well, pretty much on par with the other water weapons. Those that have, have had a decent time for this quest. Again, we are stuck in an area that doesn't have much of the resources to gather. I guess I could go into the rocks and mine. If we're lucky enough. Or well, I am lucky enough. Shrooms there. There's a couple of rocks. Oh, there's a shrooms there and a rock here. No, no rock. Oh, rock over there. Well, ice crystals. There are okay. No rewards, we've got carapaces um, from the break as well. Stout bones, omniplegia sacks, and a paralysis sack, full of claws, monster broth, and a carapace. More reflex. So this has been the Fabled Harpooner hunting a pair of Volvidon in the Rock Slide quest with the Hammer Weapon class and the Pleasure of Head as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time and good hunting.